Hi, Marbs here, and today I want to talk to you about Xbox controller firmware. Now, what is Xbox controller firmware? In case you happen to get to this video by accident, Xbox controller firmware, it is the programming code that runs your Xbox controller. Now, every Xbox controller has a processor in it, and this code is the code that the controller uses to run, well, the controller functionality, such as the connectivity such as the button presses, such as, well, everything. And like all computer programs, I guess you'd say, sometimes bugs are uncovered. When these bugs are uncovered, Microsoft usually re releases a firmware update, which allows you to update and flash the controller to the latest version of the code that you are running. Now, once you get it up to the latest version, hopefully that will correct some of the problems. Now, why is this important? Well, a lot of times people say to me, hey man, I have you know an XYZ controller and I'm having all kinds of connectivity issues. A lot of times it is an older controller and it may not be the newest one. What I often find is, believe it or not, they're on old firmware. Then we update the controller to the latest firmware and their connectivity issues disappear. Funny how this works. It actually corrects problems a lot of time. Older Xbox controllers, of every generation, I tested a variety that you see here, and every one of them updated their firmware without problems. And that even includes the Razer uh, rebadged Microsoft controllers and the Scuf rebadged Microsoft controllers, which I didn't have any problem updating either. But I think it's important to note that to get the best performance, you probably are gonna wanna be on the latest firmware. Now, is the process hard? No, it's not really, and here, we're gonna walk you right on through the update process starting right now. Updating your firmware is a rather easy process. First, you have to locate the Xbox Accessories application. Then, after locating the Xbox Accessories application, you select the three dots here. Then, when you see the top level option, it says update now. now in the upper left hand corner, you can see the version of firmware it happens to be on. This controller here happens to be on 5.9.2709.0. Now when we update now, we'll be on a version that should be later than that. Now these updates, it's important while the update is taking place, I suggest always using fresh batteries, have 100% battery life, and kind of keep the controller semi-motionless during the update process. So far, I've been very fortunate. I haven't had one of these updates fail, but you know, anything is possible, so I wouldn't put it past the possibility of an update failing. Now, what do you get in these updates? That varies, and honestly, a lot of times we don't know because Microsoft elects to push these updates out and they don't really tell us everything that they do. Now, what I have noticed more than anything else is that a lot of times when people tell me they have controller problems and ask me why they're having controller connectivity issues, I find that they're on a very, very old version of firmware. And upgrading the controller firmware almost breathes brand new life into the controller. Which is really what we're trying to do here, is improve the programming of the controller to make it work better and make it more compatible with the Xbox. Now, that isn't to say that they haven't added some new Bluetooth options and Bluetooth compatibility and Bluetooth programming to make that Bluetooth section of these controllers offer wider compatibility with other platforms. But what's important to know is that the firmware does contain bug fixes. So I say if you know what you're doing, as you can see right here, the process is pretty easy to update the firmware. Why not get on the best firmware with the latest fixes? Now. When we're not going to talk about it in this video, it is possible to go back to the old firmware, but I believe that's going to require a PC to make it happen. At any rate, as you can see here, we're almost done with this firmware update, and then we'll have a freshly flashed controller that has the latest firmware programming to offer the best and peak performance. My name is Marbs. Thank you for watching. Now hit the subscribe button for me and 
go out and update your controller. I'm telling you, you'll be surprised that oftentimes if it isn't a newer controller, how old the firmware is and what the firmware update can do to breathe new life into your controller. We'll see you in the next one.